Kristen Kelly does. Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have with me Yuki, which Yuki means snow in Japanese. Snow, snowflake. And this is mochi. And mochi is like a certain type of like paste. It's over ice cream. It's a little mochi ball. And this is my little mochi ball. And this is Peanut. Peanut, say hi. So today I'm going to be talking about my Japanese haul. So I'm on Depop. I'm not sure if you guys know about Depop. If you don't know about Depop, you have to get on your smartphone right now and download it. It's a free app. You can buy, you can sell, you can trade. I have my own Depop store. I'm Kristen Kelly on there. But this stuff today I got from this girl who sells kawaii Japanese stuff from Japan. And oh my god, I just realized I left. A toy in the other room. Hold on one sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, so, this person on Depop, her name is Summer Sands. Summer Sands, something like that, I believe. Oh, my cat. Okay, so uh, the first thing is this is, oh my god, I'm completely going to butcher this, so I'll just put it in later. Uh, the name of this toy. So it's from Sanrio, but they don't have them in America. I actually didn't even know about it until I was on Summer Sam's um, Depop page. But it's just really cool. It's like a water egg, or it is, it looks like an egg, but it's an, a water egg, and it has this cute little guy who looks like a yolk, and it's just so crazy and weird, but it's just so cool. And I actually was like looking at it, and I was like, oh, that's so interesting. And she has to win them. You can't just buy them. It's like this special machine they have in Japan. You have to win them through. So I was just like, I need one. And my boyfriend, I showed him. And I was like, isn't this crazy? And he's like, that's really cool. I would love one of those. And I was like, okay, great. I'll buy it. <laughs> because I really wanted it myself anyway. So that's the first thing. Second thing from her is this Cupid doll. So Cupid dolls were made in, I believe, like the 20s or 30s, maybe in the 40s, I don't know. Definitely before the 50s. Uh, but this woman, her name was Rose O'Neill. She was the designer of the Cupid doll, which is, it's kind of like this. You can Google what a Cupid doll used to look like back in the day, but just really cool, like cute little dolls, like little Cupies. So this is like a new take on it, like a Japanese take. So it's a plush that says lucky and it came with this little bracelet that was like in a plastic thing I should have waited to show you guys but whatever and it's just really cute I really like the face and you know every the face is hard but everything else is pretty soft so I got that from Summer Sands and then I also got this from Summer Sands which is a additional Cupid doll but it's uh, like a dog it's called Rose O'Neill Cupid X the dog artist collection so this was limited edition and it's from Japan they don't make these in America so I just really like that I just love Japanese things and I just thought it was so fun so on to oh one more thing from the Japanese haul from her is this little lamb he's so cute little llama love me little llama and he talks Yeah. How cool is that? So my boyfriend actually speaks fluent Japanese. I know, super cool. He, in, when he was in high school, he took it as a class. So I just think it's like the most amazing thing I've ever heard. Uh, but he can't even translate it because it's so fast. But it's just so and I love it. Not exactly sure where I'll put them, but I need to get like a really cool shelf to do some like toy shelves and stuff. Currently, I'm working on my like beauty glam room, which is where I'm filming now. So hopefully, I'll have that up soon, and I can have you know a cute little place to put them. So I got this doll from the flea market, the Fairfax flea market, which is like world known. They do it at Fairfax High School in Los Angeles. But, you know, any fair, any flea market around your areas. Sorry, it's like tons of street noise. 
So any fair or flea market or thrift store, Goodwill, you can find, you know, really interesting toys. This one I loved because she just has such like a beautiful face and I love her hair and her little booties and she's super cute. She also is in all of her original clothes. She even comes with a little bottle that you can use to feed her. And interesting story about myself, I always hated dolls. So this is actually the first doll I've ever owned in my entire life. Because when I was little and I was given dolls, I would just literally leave them places. Like I didn't care. I would give them to people. Like I just was like, ugh. So I never got dolls. So this is my first doll I have ever owned. And I think she's pretty special for being that. Also, I just thought she was really cute. You know, she just has a very vintage look and a oh, little big doll. So next, this is, Barbie is one of my favorites. Even when I was talking to my mom on the phone, I was like, Mom, you're never going to believe what I bought about, oop, no, a shoe, about the baby doll because I never, ever liked baby dolls. I was like, oh, Mom, what's my one, fa what's my one least favorite toy? And she goes, dolls, you hated dolls. And she's like, but you always love Barbie. I always love Barbie because Barbie wasn't a baby doll. Barbie's a woman. And she's a doctor and a lawyer and an astronaut and a gymnast and she can do everything. So I was at Goodwill and I found this Barbie and she is just perfect. And she has this really lovely dress on and she has like a, another dress that like wraps around. But yeah, her hair is perfect. She has all of her jewelry. I even found her shoes. They had like a big bin and I went through and I found all of her shoes. And this Barbie was $7 and she's perfect and I even got a stand for her and yeah she was at Goodwill you know so she was in a big bin full of a lot of other Barbies but it's always fun because you know then you can start your own Barbie collection I already have one that I've you know had going for 20 some years but you can you know get a shelf go to Goodwill give some dolls some love and it's art you know dolls aren't just for little kids they're art and you can be appreciating Barbie in all of her beautiful form Look at those eyebrows, they're so on fleek. And this doll is probably, you know, like 15 years old. God, you are beautiful. I almost forgot to show you my Polaroid Barbie camera. So this is from the 1990s. I think I actually had one similar to it, or at least I wanted one. But I had seen one on Depop that I really wanted. However, the buyer kind of wanted a little bit more money than I wanted to spend. So I went on eBay and I found it for $35 and it was 10 to ship. And the camera works great. It's so cute. I love it. It is exactly as I remembered. Everything about it's just perfect. Oh, one more thing. Not a doll, but pretty cute. I got Okay, so I was at the Fairfax flea market again, and I wanted a house phone. So this phone was in all of its original wrapping, and it was from the 1980s, which I just fell in love with it. I ended up buying this one for $20, and then the next week I went back, and I bought her final two. So I have one in the bedroom, one in the beauty room, one in the living room. I just love it. It's so cool. It's awesome to be able to like, talk to people on an actual phone. I just feel like, you know, we're in such a technological error that we're always on our phones but we're never talking to people so i love that i can actually you know like sit down call my mom sit down call a friend and it be an actual phone call and not be a text message so yeah i hope you guys had an amazing time and thank you so much please subscribe please like my video if you like it please share it if you want to share it please leave me some comments on what you want to hear me talk about Sorry, my channel's been a little MIA. I've been busy, I've been moving, I've been traveling, and da 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 da. But I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos. I'm gonna be doing once to twice a week from now on. So, yeah, love you guys. Arigato!